All right, this is the Algebra 1 EOC practice test. This is practice test 2 or Form 1 or something. I don't know what they call it. Question number 4. The question says factor 4x squared minus 4x minus 3. There's a couple ways you can go about doing this. Actually, there's more than a couple. There's multiple ways. Uh, one of them is to set a factor list for 4 and a factor list for 3 and then check and guess your way to the answer. I'm going to use slide and divide really quickly. This system's called slide and divide. On my channel, I've got some more videos on it. I like to call it slide factor divide. Anyway, what I'm going to do is take the first number and slide it over to the back. So I do take times 4 and it becomes negative 3 times 4. So this becomes negative 12. This just drops out. By the way, in order to make slide divide work, you have to make sure you pull out any common factors, but 4 and 3 don't have common factors other than 1, so pull those out first. That's key. Then I'm going to do a factor list for 12, and uh, I'm going to look to see which one gives me negative 4. The way that I'm going to set them up, this sign being negative means that my signs and my answer are going to be different. So since this is a minus, that means this is a plus and this is a minus, or you can flip them whatever you're more comfortable with is fine. Now, um, if this had been plus, by the way, this would either be minus minus or plus plus. Since these are different, I'm going to subtract my factors to try to find this middle number right here. And I see that if I do 1 minus 12, that doesn't give me anything. 3 minus 4 doesn't work. But 2 minus 6 does give me negative 4. And since the it took, uh, since the negative uh, the four is negative, I need to put the big number behind the minus. And there, so that worked that out. So that would be the slide and factor part. Now I need to do the divide. I need to divide by the number I slid over in the beginning. So this four here, reduce your fractions. The problem is you can't leave them in fraction form. So you sort of have to, if you get a fraction and not a whole number, if you got x plus 3, you could leave it. But since it didn't reduce all the way, I've got to kick this denominator back in front of the x for each section. So the 2 goes back up, so it becomes 2x plus 1. The numerator stays. And then I do 2x minus 3. So if I look at my answer choices, looks like b is going to be the correct answer, doesn't it? So not a big deal. That's slide factor divide. Another way you can do it, and I do not suggest this next method, I'm just telling you that it exists, is there is a way you can do it on the calculator that has no mathematical value. Once again, it's a waste of time, don't do it. The key is you have to have x not equal to 0. It equals 10 in mine. If it doesn't, go to the window, change the x max and x min to whatever numbers you want, negative 5 and positive 5, whatever it happens to be. Like if you try this method and you get an error, you might want to change it. But you have to change it and then graph something because it locks in that value. But mine's already 10, so I don't have to worry about it. All I'm going to do now is type in the question just as I would normally. So 4x squared minus 4x minus 3. And it gives me 357. This number has no real mathematical value, although it does mean, since x is 10, it would mean 4 times 10 squared minus 4 times 10 minus 3. But in terms of the problem itself, it doesn't mean anything other than it worked for this trick. What I'm going to try to do is check the answers and then find one that matches. So I'm going to do um, 4x minus 3 times x plus 1 doesn't give me the right answer because it's supposed to be 357 and it's 407. So I'll try the one that I actually think that it happens to be, or I know that it is because I did it the real way. 2x plus 1. It's 357. You might want to, if you, ha if you do fall to this, if this is your last resort, try all four of them. If two of them are right, the one that is, the one that is, uh, broken down the most is usually the one that's the correct answer or any one that has the largest common denominator out in the front so if these had 2x out in front of them that one would be bigger than one that had x out in the front of it so anyway these two numbers being the same means that you get the same answer so here and here proves that this b is the correct answer so it's a couple ways to do it like i said i don't have any good feelings about the last method but it does work and wanted to let you know that it existed so good luck